Good morning. Well, it's a good day, actually. I'm late today. This is Good News Friday. First, I want to talk about Sweden. So people are waking up in Sweden. I, I wish I could show you some statistics, but they are. And now there is a change also in the media. Now, we had visitors yesterday, and one of them is a female lefty. And uh, during breakfast this morning, she said, all I hear from media is people being raped. Yeah, she didn't like it. This is good, because it's true. And the media is obviously reporting on it. And she needs to know the truth. Very much. Yeah, I'll give you another example. Uh, Aftonbladet, that's a very left-wing leaning big newspaper in Sweden. They were talking about Gothenburg. This is the second biggest city of Sweden. And this is what they said. Uh, central Gothenburg is decaying and women see it as a matter of time before they are being raped. That's the image that this left-wing newspaper is putting out there. And if it wasn't true, it would be awful, right? But it is true, you see, and people need to know. So it's good. And the police, maybe they are starting to wake up too. Uh, I have known for a long time, and many of us have known this, the people, uh, the police in Sweden, they have lost control, they have sort of given up. And now the police is also admitting it. This is from the southern regions of Sweden. And they had a lot of car torching lately. It even made it into national news, which is uh, surprising. And then there was a press spokeswoman for this southern region from the police. And she said that the police are powerless against these arsonists. And she said, the people must be our eyes if we are to solve this. So, they are basically recruiting the people to solve the crimes in these southern parts. By the way, the southern parts of Sweden is the most multicultural parts. And they are also the most nationalist parts. It goes hand in hand. So I think it's a good thing. People need to know this, that the police have lost control, or they are losing control. They can't help you very much these days. It's up to us. Again, right? Now Greece. There's a new government in Greece. The old government was pathetic. Uh, the PM was a loser. And Greece is important. It's a main route for people coming into Europe. And uh, the new one, the new PM, his name is Kyriakos Mitsotakis. He's different. He's more conservative. He's still a globalist, so I wouldn't count very much on this guy. But uh, there is a possible change here. And he said that they will speed up migrant deportations to Turkey. That's where they come from, you see. Through Turkey into Greece and then further into Europe, to Germany, Sweden, the Netherlands, France, so on, UK. That's what's going on. Right. So, possibly a good thing in Greece. Now, the UK and the Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn. I said so earlier. It's tough for these uh, globalist celebrities like Jeremy Corbyn to gather big crowds because they are boring and uh, they don't look well. I don't know, but it's tough for them. So they gathered, they organized this rally against Boris Johnson. Yeah, Boris Johnson is the new PM of the UK. And uh, you know, they were hoping for big crowds. It was a national rally, but uh, it didn't work out. They had signs that said no to racism, no to Boris. Right? And 
I think less than 300 people showed up. It's tough. All right. Now, finally, I want to tell you about uh, Colorado State University. There is a, an inclusive language guide. People need to know about this because it's so stupid. Yeah. It's published by the, the Women and Gender Collaborative website. So they have words that you're not supposed to say at this university. 131 of them, actually. And two of them were American and America. <laughs> it's an American university. <laughs> yeah. And then there were protests. Maybe this is the good news part of this story. So they took it back. Yeah, you are allowed to say American at this American university. But here are some other word, words. Colored. You're not supposed to say colored. It's racist. I don't know why, but it is, according to these guys. You can say people of color. That's fine. But you cannot say colored people. Figure this out, if you can. Yeah. And then you cannot say hip hip hooray. <laughs> no. Hip hip hooray. You cannot say it because it's, it comes from German. Uh, it's called, it comes from hep hep. And that's what the shepherds used to say. I still, I think they still say it. And I know some Swedes do, some Swedish shepherds. They say hep hep when they are calling for their sheep. But it is German, you see. And actually the Nazis used hep hep during the Holocaust. So, if you say hip hip, hooray, you are a Nazi, of course. So you can't say it. And then the last one I will tell you about. It's a long time no see. This is forbidden to say because it's um, offensive to Native Americans. Okay. Now that's all. Be good. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.